talking about lost episodes of children shows that you guys might not have known about and that have shocked me a lot because as a kid I know a lot of you guys probably also watch these same shows but I was always watching like Fairly Parents, Spongebob, Dora the Explorer when I was really young and I'm sure that a lot of you guys watch the same childhood shows that I used to watch growing up and there's a lot of tea and weird conspiracies and theories about certain episodes that have become lost and strange things that people say they've seen on these episodes that were not supposed to be aired to public television but somehow ended up going on there anyways and some of them are just straight up creepy pasta legends and theories that who knows they might be true also guys be sure to drop a like on today's video try to like the video using your fingernail I think that's almost impossible but let me know in the comments if you guys can do it so I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about the Simpsons yes the Simpsons those yellow little people they actually have like a whole theme park dedicated to them at Universal which I love a lot however the Simpsons just have always scared people a little bit and let me cover a reason as to why before I get into the last episode T basically the Simpsons has been predicting things for years like years on ends they will make an episode of something predicting something or showing subliminal messages about something and then later on they predict an actual event or thing that happened and people are actually a little bit afraid of the Simpsons for these reasons like they've put some pretty dramatic like guesses out there even predicting COVID this episode was called the Oseka flu don't worry people we have enough vaccines for one child per family. And even in this episode, they predicted the killer bees that we had a while ago. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I remember like in the beginning of COVID when it first started, that there was these like really crazy killer bees or killer wasps or something that were going around the USA stinging and killing people. They predicted that too. Stop! And not only did they predict that, but they also predicted Apple iPhones. The Simpsons predicted them in 1995 through 1996 seasons. Granted, Lisa was FaceTiming in that episode. And not only that, they predicted a real tiger attack. Ten years before the tiger would actually attack Roy and Horn during a live performance, The Simpsons featured an episode where the duo would be attacked by a actual white tiger. That is so creepy to me. I don't know how they're predicting all of these different things in their episodes, and there's so many more theories about that that I can go on and on and on about, but if you guys want a separate video about that, let me know. However, the concern about a lost episode begins when a lot of people say they were watching The Simpsons one night, and it randomly switched their TV to an episode about Bart. This episode was called Dead Bart. So during this episode, apparently Bart was sucked out of the window by a plane. In the cemetery where he was buried, there was headstones featuring death dates of every Simpsons guest that was ever made and that will ever be in the show. So basically what it's trying to say was that they predicted every Simpsons character's death somehow and it was really eerie and creepy to a lot of people. They also say that you can't find this episode anymore and that's also sketchy enough that they had to take it off the TV for some reason. So the next one is called Suicide Mouse. Um, and it's kind of terrifying. Basically, you guys know Mickey Mouse, and there was apparently an old episode about Mickey Mouse that was so dark and so bad and not supposed to be aired on TV, but it somehow got leaked around the interweb. In 1929, there was a cartoon started with Mickey Mouse called Strollin' in Town. Mickey Mouse was walking until he saw a man that looked like Mel Blanc and thought it was a toy. He was hiding under it. He then took the man's eyes out and was covered in blood and he couldn't see until he walked all the blood off of himself. So people claim this was a really creepy dark episode where Mickey Mouse was just walking and walking and walking. Apparently after the screen cut to black, it stayed like that until the sixth minute before going back to Mickey Mouse walking. The sounds on the screen changed and there was murmurs. It wasn't really a language being played on this episode. It was more like a gurgled cry as Mickey Mouse walked. And apparently Mickey's grin and smile on his face grew bigger and bigger and bigger the more he walked down this paved sidewalk. It terrified children. It literally traumatized people. Even adults were terrified and traumatized after watching this lost episode of Mickey Mouse that was super old and creepy. <laughs> So the next one we're going to be talking about is Dora the Explorer. So I'm sure that we all know of Dora the Explorer because, you know, who doesn't? But basically, Dora the Explorer had a last episode that made a lot of children extremely, extremely concerned. But the weirdest part about this last episode is that parents claimed that they did not see it while their kids were claiming they were watching it. Parents said that they would see their kids crying and they were like, Mom, Mom, something's wrong with Dora. The parents would go check it out and they would say, No, there's nothing wrong. This is a normal episode. But all the kids 
were like, no, no, this is a real thing. Like something's wrong with Dora. So the urban legend here is that only the children could see the problem with this very specific lost episode of Dora the Explorer and the parents were just creeped out that their kids were so traumatized. So basically in this episode, when the Dora theme song started, it sounded like the theme in the earlier episode, but with many changes. Then eventually the screen flashed to Dora continuing on saying, I need your help, I need your help. Will you help me find something to do? You will? Come on, vamanos, let's go. Then after she got downstairs, she told her parents she was exploring, but they were not answering to her. Dora then pulled out a scribble piece of paper and imitated the map because she couldn't find her map. Then she said she had to cross Troll Bridge. Dora then walked down a few yards and stopped where the Troll Bridge was. Then suddenly a random man approached Dora on the screen which was not a regular character of the show. Kids were confused as to who this man was because they had no idea. And he said to Dora, do you have some money? Dora then looked at him and said, hola grumpy old troll, what is your riddle? Because Dora thought that this man was a troll. They, she had to pass the bridge to get by when she didn't know that it wasn't a troll and that something was about to go wrong. The man then said, What are you saying, girl? Why do you always have to do this every day? Dora then said, Thank you for letting me over the bridge, grumpy old troll. Then the man said, Go away and die, Dora. And the whole screen flashed while Dora let a blood-crippling scream out of her lungs and the episode said the end. Kids were so traumatized, they were worried about Dora, they did not understand what that man wanted from her. The kids who saw this episode of Dora never watched it again. The parents were confused because it seemed like a normal episode of Dora that would run all the time and they hadn't seen anything wrong. So the next episode we're going to be talking about is the Powerpuff Girls. I actually used to love the Powerpuff Girls when I was little. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. I was a huge Bubbles fan because Bubbles kind of reminds me of myself. I feel like if I was in the Powerpuff Girls I would definitely be Bubbles. But there is a story about Bubbles, the character I like a lot. There was supposed to be a dark lost episode that some people claim to have seen but I think this is more based on of a creepypasta. During this episode they say that Bubble looked very ill and confused and dazed and lost and she said things and did things that she normally would never do and people said she had a dark, low, grumbling, evil sounding voice in this episode. The professor tried to do everything he could to help Bubbles throughout this episode but nothing ended up working to the point where at the end of the episode all the Powerpuff Girls tried everything they could and Bubbles said leave me alone in a dark eerie voice and then she blatantly dropped to the floor and the episode ended, which terrified children and concerned a lot of parents at the time because some parents claimed they actually had seen this last episode of the Powerpuff Girls. And as you guys know, Bubbles has a very like bubbly voice and she has a bubbly personality so that would be so out of character for her to do. And last but not least, we're going to be talking about the last episode of The Amazing World of Gumball. So this show I actually don't remember watching too much of out of all the shows I've mentioned previously. I watched them pretty good amounts of time. But The Amazing World of Gumball I did not watch too much of so I actually was surprised to hear about this story. So this animated series was not about chewing gum by the way. It's about a cat named Gumball Watterson. Gumball has kind of like a personality for getting into trouble or getting into schemes that he gets into, but he never learns his lesson. Gumball's best friend is a fish named Darwin who used to be a family pet until he grew legs and became part of the family. And that is kind of weird, honestly. I don't know what was going on in the show. Gumball also hates his younger sister because she is the smartest member of the family. However, people claim there is a last episode of Gumbo called The Grieving Episode. And let me tell you why it's called this. It started off slow, but then switched to Gumball just crying in a classroom like never before. He sounded dark and depressed, and he was crying kind of normally until his cries and weeps became louder and louder and more concerning throughout the episode. <laughs> Eventually, after he cried for some time, the scream began to glitch on this specific episode. It glitched to something very concerning. Gumball was fine, but he started to walk crying with his head weeped down, going, ah, ha, ha, ha. and then it would show flashings of all the other main characters dead on the ground. And at the very end of the episode, Gumball just cries harder and harder, and all the characters are dead. And then the episode just magically switches to an end screen. And not only that, but Cartoon Network even kind of addressed this episode. They put a video on their Cartoon Network YouTube channel addressing the last episode and they get to a point where it's just some chihuahuas playing an instrument. Maybe it's not just a creepypasta and maybe Cartoon Network was trying to distract us with a funny meme. If you guys grew up watching Barney, you're probably around my age. So I'm guessing in your early 20s. But if you guys don't know who Barney is, let me tell you guys who Barney the Dinosaur is. Barney is a 200 million two dinosaur year old. I didn't know Barney was that old. 
Oh, he's six me. foot tall. Wow, he's taller than me by one inch. Wow, okay, I am tall. Purple Tyrannosaurus Rex with a green belly, green spots on his back, and his tail and yellow toes, but he's mostly purple. He comes to life through a child's imagination. He is best known for his silly, optimistic attitude. I love you. He was created first in 1987 by Cheryl Leach, who was looking for a way to entertain her two-year-old son named Patrick. Originally, Barney was going to be a blanket. When that was proven to be too hard, he became a teddy bear who came to life. Patrick was fascinated by the dinosaur exhibit at a museum. In particular, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did I say that right? The T-Rex. So, the idea of Barney, in general, seems pretty innocent, right? Just a big T-Rex that a little kid wanted to be entertained by of a little plushie that came to life to an actual dinosaur. Pretty cute and innocent. However, Barney the dinosaur has a whole dark twist. I There's a lot of extremely creepy and concerning conspiracies about this purple, big, tall, thick dinosaur, and it's about to get spicy. This first conspiracy I found is insane. Barney was possibly based on a 1930s serial killer. I know that the other things said it wasn't, but who really knows? There's conspiracies for everything. Rumor has it that Barney the Dinosaur is based off of a man named Barney that in his 30s would go to a theme park dressed as a big purple dinosaur. This was an attempt to draw kids into him. He would kidnap them and then force them to all act like they were happy or he would brutally murder them and take them to his home. Um, there's more aggressive things in this theory that I'm not going to read because we're family friendly here, but that is actually terrifying. That somebody would try to dress up as a big purple dinosaur to lure kids towards them at the park. First off, if I saw this, I don't think I want to run up to it, even if I knew who Barney was. I feel like, did I like Barney as a kid? I don't know, I feel like he scared me. So I don't really know, Barney is a little bit sus. I mean, we should probably vote purple out, guys. Let's eject him. Here is another really dark Barney theory that I found online. So here's what this person wrote about Barney. So just like I, any other child growing up in their 90s watched the TV show Barney. I had every cassette tape of it, even the backyard gang in the concert one. I heard the theme song to an old episode a couple of months ago. My sisters were making fun of it. Now that I'm 21, I can actually understand the theme song and all the lyrics written. It says that Barney lives with all the kids in the show, but then it says Tina and Lucy are sisters, as if implying they're all from separate families. Not to mention that they had the kids' parents on the show and they were all different people. So the conclusion here is what they're saying is what if Barney and the Backyard Gang is not happy and cheerful as they seem? What if the show is based on something more dark and possibly more real? What if these kids are all foster siblings in an orphanage and they are all having a difficult time dealing with being taken from their homes or their families and maybe Barney is an imaginary friend that they dreamt up in an attempt to have someone to show them the love and escape from the attention that they never had or got growing up in an orphanage. Um, that is kind of creepy because it does say Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination and there's a bunch of kids in the show. So I mean, that conspiracy really does hit deep. If you think about it, maybe those kids are trying to escape from a childhood they didn't have and that's why they say that Barney is a dinosaur from their imagination and maybe they're not really happy. That's weird too. It's a lot of weird stuff about Barney the dinosaur on the internet. All right, this by far is one of the most terrifying conspiracies about Barney the Dinosaur that I have found. Have you guys heard about Barney's Lost episode? Apparently this episode was going to be aired on TV and well it was but not for long. So the people that did see this episode of Barney that was taken off very soon afterwards said that it aired at 3 a.m. which means you should never watch Barney the Dinosaur at 3 a.m. So this person wrote about the Barney Lost episode because apparently they were there to witness it. So here is the story. Barney is my favorite show. Well, it used to be until last night. Yesterday, I was looking at my TV guide and I saw something that caught my eye. I thought I saw a commercial. Tonight only, a lost episode of Barney and Friends, first and only chance to see it, and it airs only at 3 a.m. Naturally, I hated that show, but I had the chance to see the lost episode at 2.59 a.m. since I was awake. So I turned the TV on and sat down. It was at the moment the episode came on and the Barney theme song started to play. However, something was not right. For some reason, when I played this Barney theme song, I heard some kind of whispering within the Barney theme song audio that didn't used to be there. I'm sure most of us do know the Barney theme song. It's pretty iconic. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. 
Barney is the dinosaur. I never have heard any whispering in that, so for them to say that, a little bit suspicious. For starters, the video quality was also very bad and the audio sounded very distorted. It was whispering, it sounded creepy, but I shrugged it off, assuring myself that it was just my imagination. What a coincidence. The episode began like it always does, with the kids talking about something while holding the doll version of Barney the Dinosaur. Then poof. He comes to life giggling like an actual psychopath. He was gargling out of his mouth, giggling just like a demonic dinosaur. Like Barney would never make those kind of laughs or giggles. Something was not right with Barney. Barney sounded very weird, as if two people were talking at once. One with his normal voice, and another that sounded very demonic. I tried to ignore it, and that's when I heard Barney say, hi kids, with childish giggling, today I'm going to teach you about death. That would be the point where I block Barney off, off my children's TV devices. <laughs> That is scary, no more Barney the Dinosaur. Um, but the show kept going. One of the children looked up at him and said, What's death, Barney? Barney replied demonically, This is. His face suddenly turned angry. He grew long, sharp teeth, and he laughed evilly. And then he ate one of the children. Barney ate a child? My children kept watching, not concerned about any of this. Barney then proceeded to eat some of the children one by one, each time roaring. The children at this point started to run away from Barney, screaming and crying for their parents to save them. Barney just chuckled evilly and said in a demonic voice, Mommy and Daddy can't help you! And then he chewed on the children until the children broke in half. Then the green girl dinosaur and the yellow dinosaur came in and apparently not noticing the dead children. Well, Barney, the green one said, What did we learn today? Barney grinned an evil grin and said directly to the camera, Remember, kitties, don't bother locking your doors or hiding under your beds because sooner or later, I will find you and I will eat all of you. The rest of the episode showed a distorted picture of Barney the dinosaur with a blood curdling scream. That was the last straw. I then reached for the TV remote and I turned it off. I looked to my left and then I realized my children were nowhere to be seen. You know what? That's very concerning to say the least. I don't know how to feel about the energy created in the room today. It's pretty late right now. In fact, it is 3 a.m. I don't know why I'm reading scary Barney stories, but what if I find a scary Barney video? All right, so one of the things I wanted to address about looking up these Barney movies and clips at 3 a.m. is I found a lot of ones that claim that Barney cursed during the show. So there's a bunch of clips here, as you guys can see. I'll put them on the screen. If you guys want to look them up, you can. Um, this one says Barney curses. I'm going to play it and see what it says. I just want to see if Barney really does swear because it's a kid's show. He's not supposed to. Real honest to goodness, real life. I sure do. People are editing Barney in these videos to make it sound like he's swearing. I mean, yeah, that did sound a little weird. Um, obviously I'm gonna bleep it out because we're a family-friendly channel. If you guys wanna look those up, go ahead. But I think people edited those. <laughs> like, I don't see Barney ever cursing on TV. I mean, the lost episode does sound kinda strange, not going to lie. Let's see if we can try to find the lost episode. Barney the lost episode? Wait, what is this? Hi, VJ. Man, I do not miss this show. The way that the dinosaur's mouse move is just really scary. Can we talk about how the kids in Barney look like they're like at least 12 to 13, but are like forced to act like they're like six years old? I'm pretty sure that's not the Barney Lost episode, but if I could find it, that would be golden. I really don't want to watch Barney movies at 3 a.m. because Barney has some really dark secrets, guys. Like really dark secret. Anyways guys, let me know what you guys think about Barney. Do you guys think that any of these Barney conspiracy theories are true or do you guys think that Barney was just a cute little dinosaur doll that was invented by a lady who wanted to make her son happy and make the doll feel like it came to life because she couldn't make a Barney blanket? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I mean any possibilities out there, however, I mean there are a lot of stretches with these conspiracies because some of them are kind of crazy.